Warning, the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. Proceed at your own risk. Cardinal flower, also known as Lobelia cardinalis. This member of the Lobelia family is a perennial, meaning its lifespan is longer than two years, and this native plant can be found throughout most of the United States, excluding several northwestern states. It grows in a habitat of stream banks and damp meadows to a height of two to five feet, and it has scarlet flowers that are in bloom from July to September. The flowers are irregular, an inch to an inch and a half long, and a long stamen projects through the split in the upper lip. The plant has alternate leaves, and the leaves are toothed and lance-shaped. Be careful handling this plant. Lobelias are potentially poisonous. American Indians, such as the Cherokee, use this plant as an ingredient in a drink for pain. A root tea was used for stomach troubles and worms, and a root poultice was used for risings. A leaf tea was used to reduce fevers, for rheumatism. A warm leaf tea was used for colds, hard to heal sores, croup, and syphilis and a cold leaf tea was used as a snuff for nosebleeds. A poultice of the crushed leaves was used for headaches. The Delaware and Delaware of Oklahoma made an infusion of the roots and used it for typhoid, and was considered a very strong medicine. The Iroquois added this plant to all medicines to make them stronger. It was considered one of the highest medicinal plants. The plant was used for stomach problems or anything else. It should be kept outside, otherwise tobacco must be burnt to keep it inside. For gathering abscesses in the breast, steep three plants in one quart of water, drink half of it down, sit down, and rest. Drink some warm water, then drink the remainder, leaving some to wash the breast with. Also use a poultice of the fresh plant. For fever sores, take a small handful of the roots of cardinal flower and chicory and boil them together in a pint of water until well done. Take out the roots and pound them. Wash the sores with the liquid and apply the roots in a thin rag as a poultice, moistening them occasionally with the liquid. Use the poultice for a day, then make a new one. Bury the old poultice in the ground, removing the disease from you. The Iroquois also use cardinal flower as a love medicine. Smash the roots and add enough water to wash the face. This attracts the opposite sex. Another love medicine that will make you seem like the best looking in the crowd is bundling up two plants so that the bundle is four to five inches thick and put the bundles in five quarts of water. Boil quite a bit. Wash your face, neck, and hands. You can save the bundle and use it again three more times. The final use as a love medicine is done by steeping the stalk and flowers in a teacup of water. Wash your face in the entire solution throughout the day. The other person will do whatever you want. It was also sprinkled on baskets. For sickness caused by grieving, Put the whole plant of self-heal and the raceme of cardinal flower in a cup and pour in boiling water. Cool and drain. Take as much as possible at once. For cramps, pulverize the root, plant, and blossoms. Add boiling water, let it cool, and then drink it down. The first dose should be moderate. If you take too much to start with, it'll make you throw up. Use small quantities very frequently. If this is prepared with lukewarm water, it'll cause further cramps. So be sure the water is very hot to begin with. For pain or trouble caused by witchcraft, also to ward it off, make a poultice of the roots and apply it to the spot, bone, or insect bite or sting, and the pain will be drawn out. Take internally to ward off witchcraft. For swollen breast, when a woman's breast cakes, cracks, and the glands on her neck and under her arms swell, smash the plant and boil it a little in two quarts of water. Take half a cup once a day and wash the sores. The mashed plants were applied as a poultice. The infusion was also used as an emetic, or to cause vomiting, when someone was given something that was bad to eat, and your stomach is sore, but you don't know what the cause. Put the plant in six quarts of water that is warm, drink a lot, vomit, and then repeat. For bad stomachs caused by consumption, combine two whole plants of cardinal flour and American hog peanut in one quart of water, and boil quite a bit. Take as much as you can as often as you'd like. The Meskwaki used the roots as a love medicine. The roots were ground and used in food to end quarrels as a love medicine and to prevent divorce. And the Pawnee made a compound containing the roots and flowers and used it as a love charm. 
According to Western Herbal Medicine, the medicinal parts are the leaves and tops. Labelas are nauseant, emetic, expectorant, relaxant, antispasmodic, diaphoretic, silagogue, sedative, occasionally cathartic, diuretic, and astringent. It was used for chorea, tetanus, worm fits in children, hysteric infantile and other convulsive disorders, asthmatic attacks, spasmodic croup, and whooping cough. Externally, a tincture was used for sprains, bruises, rheumatic pains, inflammations, and other forms of skin diseases. A poultice of powdered lobila and slippery elm bark with a weak lye water was valuable for bites and stings of poisonous insects, spasmodic affections of the limbs, pains, and to produce muscular relaxation. As a local wash, it was used for herpes, eczema, nettle rash, and for rashes caused by poison ivy. As for the plant's other uses, this plant was used as a ceremonial tobacco, but it was not smoked. It was used to ward off storms, and it was strewn onto graves. Hi, I'm Mike from Flight to Freedom, and I'd like to thank you for taking your time out to watch my video. I hope you found this information to be useful, and if you have, please help this project grow by liking, subscribing, and sharing this information with your friends and family. For more information on wildflowers, visit me at plighttofreedom.com, and as always, keep your eyes and ears open, your powder dry.